Hey guys, welcome back to Unbought the Popcorn. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. It has been a hot minute since I've done something else besides my uh, Rena de Sur recap. So we are here and we're going to be doing the first impression of Zombieland Double Tap trailer, which I'm very excited about because I really, really loved the first part. It's actually one of my favorite like zombie movies. So let's go ahead and uh, get on with this. I can't wait. It looks like a lot of fun. I love how they did the whole Academy Award nominee, 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 and then like of course you leave the actual winner for the last. Also enjoyed all the new cast that's gonna be in there, like Rosario Dawson and Luke Wilson. Looks like we're gonna have me like a little like a uh, multiverse kind of like a uh, Tallahassee's and Columbus's uh, double. Uh, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I wonder how they're gonna end up starting it off, like. Are they still going to be in Bill Murray's house? At this point now, decided maybe to move away from Bill Murray's house, or were they still living there for all this time? And then kind of made it to DC now, and of course she has to hit the White House, because why not? Like in DC, there might be actually more uh, survivors, or I don't know, these are just going to be people that are just going to be on the way to DC, or wherever it is that they're going. I didn't really get a big concept of what they're actually in search for. I mean, in part one, they were going to the um theme park what um pacific playland they were going to pacific Play playland so i wonder what's going to be the theme of where they're trying to actually get to in this part uh it looks like um uh columbus and it was stone was wichita or was it yeah because i think abigail was little rock if i'm not mistaken uh looks like they might actually still be a couple in here or she could just be like the um, uh, jealous ex with the new girl coming around. I can't remember that actress's name, but she's gonna be ditzy. And it's kind of, I don't really know how I feel about that just because since it is a zombie apocalypse, can't really afford to be ditzy because you kind of have to be able to fend for yourself. But apparently she's still trying to depend upon her looks to get by. So unless it's also a cover kind of like what Witch Tongue Little Rock did to maybe steal their truck or, you know, try to you know use the looks to get something out of them or you know steal something from them you never know i don't know i don't know where it's gonna go but it looks looks very fun it looks like a lot of fun i can't wait for it um october can't get any quicker i love october my favorite time of the year uh, but uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of the trailer are you guys looking forward to it were you a fan of part one you know what your favorite zombie movie is overall uh, this is not my favorite zombie movie but it is up there on top i may end up doing like a top 10 zombie movies eventually maybe Halloween time. I can't wait. It looks like a lot of fun. I love Zombieland and Double Tap looks like it might be actually as good and not, and not just be like a cheap remake of it. I mean it is more on the cheesier side don't get me wrong but just kind of like what I said on the uh, Dead Don't Die is kind of like my perfect like cup of tea just really what I like. It really kind of hits everything for me. But with all that said, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you at concessions. Bye.